Oh, shit, not the seventh episode. The line at the mall. My boy Riley was posted up in the cut waiting to slide. And so as everybody's still glazing Santa, Riley just walks over dragging a foldable chair and he's up to no good. Because then bro Santa! just split up lobs that John from deep and absolutely bodies Santa. He sent that man skidding across the ground like an anime character, bruh. And watching this bag, I don't even know how the chair changed trajectory like this to hit, bro. <laughs> but hey, he hit him hard. Yo, so. we are here with Jacob through the YNS of Finch. I'm gonna go ahead and subscribe to my boy because I'm out here reacting to you. So you definitely do. I'm gonna go ahead and like it, bro. I gotta show, bro. We gotta support each other out here. All right, anyway, bro. YNS of Finch, bro. You know this is insane. You feel me? Insane, bro. You already see Mr. Incredible. Look at the face on his face. Look at his face. Bro, this is gonna be. It's gonna be nice. All right. But with that being said, make sure y'all tap in with Jacob through like, comment, and subscribe. Getting a little recognition that he truly deserved, bro. Let's go ahead and tap into it. It was like, oh, you know them? Oh, uh, they gonna enjoy these missiles with built-in switches in them. Damn. sends missiles to blow up his wife and kids, dog. For no reason. Oh, now, yeah. I don't know if y'all been seeing, but the term YN has been going crazy on social media. And yeah. you know, it literally means young. But yeah, now it's just used to describe anybody who's in thug or shysty activity. Now, last video talked about the YNs of anime. But now I think it's time we talk about some of the YNs of fiction in general. And I got said YNs of anime, bro. You're talking my language, but you're talking to me nice. I, I'm going to go pull up on that video too, bro. Because it has anime of all. You know your brother loves that. Some characters we're going to put on trial, and I got scenes to talk about. And then after that, we're going to rank them from bronze to Hall of Fame YN right. badge. You know, since I'm holding off on the YNs of anime part two, I'll briefly talk about a YN that transcends anime and American shows, and that would be the one and only Broly. Now, oh, at this point, I think everybody in their yes. knows who Broly is, because this man's madness activity throughout the years was something vicious. He's the vicious. final boss of young, because I don't care. Now, if you don't know Broly's origin story, the whole reason he's a menace is because this man Goku was crying and annoying him while he was a baby, bro. Oh, oh, oh. Hold up, hold up. He was crying and annoying him, and he heard the other people talking about, damn, you got a power level of 10,000, though, but look at this boy over here screaming top of the lung, got you crying like a baby. And that shit tipped him off. And at that moment, you know, I'm going to kill Kakarot no matter what, bro. That's how it would happen, bro. And he was just born a natural tweaker. He not all that there in the air, y'all. But boy, was he moving crazy in this first movie, gang. Like his own pops knew he was a legendary YN. He gave bro a crown to suppress his shystiness and everything. But of course, it ain't work on our boy, bro. Because after he broke out this mind control, the fade he was handing out the whole Saiyan lineage Bruh. was something different, bro. Like he was hitting it with every DBZ violation in the book. Face palms, clotheslines, stomping and jumping on people. Oh, what about that kick? This, it was really just wrestling. Yo, look at Goku. Look at that face, bro. I hate it. I stopped on that face, bro. Look at that real blood back when Dragon Ball Z was the face. I'm playing. It's still good. It's still good. But you imagine, bro, someone built 300 pounds straight muscle, 6'9 heaven ass, bro, jumping on your ass, bro, like a damn trampoline, bro, diving you deeper and deeper into the damn ground, bro. That's the type of man Broly was, bro. Broly was a menace, bro. What you mean? He closed wide trunks and Gohan and decided to use Piccolo as a goddamn soccer ball, bro. My boy Piccolo like that, bro. And he had Vegeta punk ass scared, bro. Vegeta like, oh, bro, it's a legendary Super Saiyan, bro. I don't think we should fight him, bro. You the prince of all Saiyan, bro. Show you who... Uh, my bad. <laughs> yeah. Got me heated. Show him who you are and why you are the prince of all Saiyan, bro. Over there looking all pussy and scared and shit. So many of them. mad as hell. Just like every other YN, that's what made Broly so dangerous. He had nothing to lose. Like I and knew it was over when dad, I saw he had bro. a switch on his key blast, bro. And don't get me started on that second movie, because right out the gate, bro was looking for smoke. And he decided to whoop on Bendel? Bendel, because oh. he said those hands were E for everyone. But yeah, luckily Goats and the Trunks put up to save him from the abuse. But he started aggroing on them anyway. And he was beating hey, on he his was just like kid, though. Come and when Gohan look. pulled up to help them, he started beating on Gohan too. It was a never ending cycle. Like bro really had it. I'll be honest with you though. I would love to have seen more of the Gohan versus the Broly fight, bro. And watching Broly turn to, you know, the, the legendary form. And then you saw Gohan go Super Saiyan 2, bro. I still felt like Gohan probably should have won that. Like, Super Saiyan 2 should have been on an equal level than freaking than the Broly, bro. Because if you pay attention to the movie, I know I'm yapping. I'm yapping, but let me yap. Let me talk, all right? I'm speaking fast. You feel me? Now... Goku beat Broly by getting Piccolo, Vegeta, Gohan, Trunks, Power. All at the same time. All right? Bullshit. You feel me? Bullshit. All right? At that time, I feel like Cell is stronger than Broly. 
the same. Broly gets stronger as he grows. Right? The more, the longer he stays alive, the angrier he gets. Y'all, he's like the Hulk. He grows stronger. You feel me? All right. They showed a little scene if he was carved in ice and just powering up. All right. But at the time, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan should have been stronger than Broly, bro. That's <laughs> animosity and hatred flowing through his veins bro and i'm gonna leave it there because i might have a whole video for broby hall of fame yn badge of course <clears throat> moving oh, easily on. now if we're talking easily. in terms of a real yn it's only right i mentioned franklin saint and for those who haven't watched the show snowfall franklin saint was this young black kid who franklin saint wasn't always a yn though bruh i he turned that way bro. and if you haven't seen snowfall I'm gonna let you know now you are missing out. My boy, I forgot his, his original name, bro, but he played the hell out of this game, bro. And through that shit developing every season, bro, the more and more I liked Franklin, bro. All right? He ended up getting involved in selling cocaine and he became this kingpin drug lord, killer dude. You know what I'm saying? He bro really was not life. playing. But you know me, I like to get demonstrations. So let's talk about this first scene. So for some context, one of Franklin's crack houses was kind of moving slow on business. So he went to check it out himself. And can we just appreciate how smooth he walked into this building? I might be glazing. I'm not gonna lie. And now when Franklin gets in the house, I like the part. But I like the part, bro. He banged on the door. They're like, Yo, who you think you the police, bro? He said, you know what I am? And bro just bust right through, bro. What you mean? Basically bossing everybody around. And on top of that, he was cooking what they had going on. Well, not cooking, but he was roasting everything. He was basically like, hey, man, y'all cooking that weak stuff in here. Ain't nobody getting no high off of none of this. Because remember, they were cooking cocaine. But yeah, that's besides the point. And so eventually somebody was like, who invited this? And one of the dudes explained that he was sent from a higher up or whatever. But we know where this is Franklin saying. And apparently the dude running the crack house did also. Because he was like, hey, man, you're not going to walk in here cooking my cooking. I don't care if you was the king of the young. And yeah, this seemingly ended up sparking something within Franklin saying. Because this man just did, I'm just, I'm just gonna play. So Franklin was a man. I mean, he he became a fucking menace, bro. He became a fucking menace. And you know, I feel like this was a tad bit extreme. I feel like, uh, don't talk to me like that. Let's do better next time. Would have sufficed. But then again, I'm not the king. Y N. And yeah, then Franklin proceeded to crash out and yell at everybody, basically scaring everybody out the crib. But hey, all I know is if I got done like that, I'm grabbing the switch, dropping the diss track, something. But yeah, I don't. Hey, but you can do all you want, but there's nothing you could have done, bro. Hey, if y'all see what I'm, if you see what I'm talking about, that scene when him and his boy were gonna pull up on the Hispanic, bro, because of what they did, and bro knocked on the door and said, "Y'all better get this shit fucking worked out right fucking now. Get y'all asses up." So it was similar to that, bro. I right, he talked too shit, bro. Ah, oh, but what was that other fucking scene? It was uh, it was uh, hold up. He was talking to freaking uh he, he called him yo yo uh i forgot his name bro he called him you forgot his name he called him yo yo though he called him yo yo bro he said you don't not stop me from doing what i gotta do to get my money bro hey i don't want to spoil any more of the show because apparently a lot of people haven't watched this so let's just rank them easily um, hall of fame business kill people you know what? Easily hall of fame. Gold because he's a little more level-headed than a lot of these YNs. Moving on. Now, the Boondocks is a show that displays Riley. a lot of this YN activity, but I want to talk about LaMilton and Riley Freeman. Oh, Let's just man. get this demon of a child, LaMilton, out the way. Now, LaMilton was a character in the Boondocks based off a real-life child, but bro, IRL don't compare to the... Based off a real person? I did not know that, bro. I did not know that. Bro, <laughs> hey, hey, y'all remember that, bro? Bro was like, uh, they let him go. Who? The fools let him go. Milton? I thought he was in the system. The fools let him go. He not in the system? Oh! Louie, bring my shotgun. The one yeah. in the boondocks. So the first thing we see, bro, he driving a stolen whip with Riley in the passenger seat next to him. Thought it was driving, this thought man it was is just turning bro. the wheel and pressing the gas, bro. He wilding out right now, gang. Endangering the lives of men. And so bro ends up crashing through a fence. And Riley like, hey, we, we done driving around, right? And this young Nicola Milton just like, nah. So bro continues to go play bumper cars in the street until 12 is chasing him. And he has no intention of pulling over. And people, all this is happening, we getting clips of his post-chase interview. And bro does not care at all. I didn't yeah, give a damn at crashing, all. And he just smoking a cig outside with 12 around him, acting like nothing happened. And that's not the end of his wild displays. Because in the next scene, he was caught in 4K beating up his grandma in the store. Beating her ass, bro. Chicken, bro. 
And then when they interviewed, bro, he stood on 10 toes. He was like, yeah, I beat my grandma because she didn't want to buy me no chicken. Like, at this point, he beyond the wine category. This man has no morals whatsoever, bro. Because don't get all. started on when he got his hands on a gun, bro. <laughs> he was really threatening this man, Riley, with the blick. And then he just boomed the dog because it was barking at him. Bro was literally like, oh, this dog mad annoying. I'm a merc it. And it was on its own property, gang. And this is all we need to see, bro. Hall of Fame bash for this YN. Listen, and that scene where Huey and him fought 1v1 on top of the school building, when Huey started giving the do something and gave him that work, bro. Yeah. Huey said, I got him. No, my bad. Not Huey. Sorry. Sorry. Riley said, I got. How the hell I fucked it up? Riley said, I got the hands, yo. I got to fight my older brother every day, bro. What you mean? You light work. His, his potential is really limitless. And moving on to Riley Freeman, I want to talk about the Santa incident. Now, as crazy as it sounds, Santa was one of Riley's ops. And so while all the other kids oh, were going crazy the waiting in the line at the mall, my boy Riley was posted up in the cut waiting to slide. And so as everybody's still glazing Santa, Riley just walks over dragging a foldable chair, and he's up to no good. Because then, bro, Santa! just straight up lobs that John from deep and absolutely bodies Santa. He sent that man skidding across the ground like an anime character. Character, bruh. And watching this bag, I don't even know how the chair changed trajectory like this to hit, bro. <laughs> but hey, he hit him hard. These young kids get new abilities every day, so I ain't even tripping. So right after this critical hit, Riley spawns in a golf club bro, and starts beating beat the his crack ass. out of this man Santa like he owed him money or something. And I assume these nefarious act would have continued, but Paul Blart pulled up, forcing this man Riley to flee the scene. Because you know, them YNs, they don't mess with 12. And so later that night, Riley decided he was going to use some of his time to write Santa a heartfelt message. Well, sort of. Dear Santa. You are a bitch. That's good. You know, this is Riley doing something productive. And speaking of productive, if you watch this video and still haven't subscribed, what are you doing? It's easy. <laughs> All right, let's get to the video. But yeah, as a true YN, Riley decides he was going bro to Okay, came after the second Santa round, bro. Too easy. And so next time Santa was back in the mall, Riley was in the cut on go. Like, look at this man. He not playing, bro. And so as Santa was talking to a little girl, she was like, Santa, why is there a red dot on your forehead? And it turns out this man Riley had a red beam BB gun pointed directly at this man's Uncle Ruckus kind of stopped the bullet, bro. My boy pulled up ready with a COD loadout this time. And so as Riley let off some shots, Uncle Ruckus jumped in the way in the elf costume, oh. saving Santa. Probably on some, we can't let the precious white Santa get shot by these young. But hey, Riley was getting his get back by any means, and he started walking bro down with not one, but bro, two BB guns. The, I told y'all this man had a the loadout. Fucking, uh, shield, <laughs> now, Oh, but my shit started lagging. I'm sorry, bro. I, I don't know what happened there in my stuff. But either way, uh, he started using the shout as a body shield, bro. He picked the little girl up. Was using her as a body shield while he took off, bro. That Santa was ass, Santa was bro. taking off. Riley wasn't far behind him. He was just terrorizing the whole mall with missed bullets. Until he finally had a clear shot on Santa. And as he took the deciding shot, his gun jammed, bro. Like, come on, Riley. As a YN, you know your gun can't be jamming. But regardless, this scene is a great display of some of Riley's YN nature. So, I'm not gonna lie. We gonna give Riley a silver. He don't yeah, be wildin' too that. much, but when he wants to, he getting that mo. Now, for my boy I'm finna talk about right now, we got sick oh, on Toy Story. My. And this legit was a little weird, bro. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Like, my guy was really out here abusing and dismembering toys for sport. I don't toy even know if bro was a bro. He was a dangerous to school threat. But y'all get the point of the video. So, for starters, all the toys knew about this man Sid because of his crazy tendencies. And they would just witness the abuse to their fellow toy mates. And can we just look at the way bro was moving in this arcade? He'd need a whooping for sure. But yeah, one way or another, he ends up capturing Buzz and Woody, and he gets to his room absolutely tweaking, bruh. Like, first of all, he takes his sister's doll, locking her out the room. Oh, she and looks sick. I need your picture. Thing, putting a dinosaur head on instead. And bro really had the evilness in him to show his sister. And look at her reaction, bruh. She about to have nightmares for a week about And bro said, whatever she told you, he lying, bro. What you mean, brother? Evidence is in your hand. Yes, but I knew he had problems when bro was talking to himself in this room, pretending like he was a doctor while violating these toys, bro. He need therapy. And so the real trouble starts when this man gets a package in the mail and runs to his room to unbox this crazy rocket bomb called the Big. And I don't even know who gave bro permission to order this, let alone pay for it. But hey, we ball. These YNs always find a way. And so as luck would have it, he decided to tape his only rocket-related toy, Buzz, to the big one. And this man, Woody, was absolutely stressing while my dog Buzz had to keep his default face. On. And so when the day comes, he throws Woody on the grill like some seasoned steak and has Buzz ready to get sent to Narnia. But before he lights everything, he hears Woody talking about, you ain't no real young nigga, and there's a snake in my boot. And as Sid goes over to listen to Woody, all the toys just start coming alive. Is that what his ass get though? And Woody's still talking like, we gon' get you, you not safe. And Sid, like any kid, starts running in the crib crying. And yeah, that's all, let's rank him. And even though Sid was a great YM for- Definitely a bronze. Definitely a bronze. Still, Toy Story is- is it Pixar? It's Disney. Is it Pixar? Is it Disney? Is it Pixar or is it Disney? Hold up.
Or is it DreamWorks? I don't remember what it is. Either in my One of my favorite movies. Anyway, bro. Ah, but what would you have done, all right, if all your toys came alive, started talking to you? Right, I'd be traumatized, bro. I'd be traumatized. I'll be honest with you, you know. I treated my toys nicely, but not all the time, bro. I some of them definitely got done dirty, bro. Some of them got thrown to the sky. A couple of them lost their heads and their arms, bro. And they came back and got me, bro. Can't be mad at it, though. It was payback. All right, I'll still be traumatized, but damn, it was payback. They deserve it. You feel me? Bruce they University. definitely deserve it. Stand on business in the end. I'm giving this man bronze. Now, this YN we finna talk about is from one of the greatest movies ever, The Incredibles. And I'm talking about Syndrome. Now, Syndrome is definitely a strange case because yeah. the origin story of becoming a YN is pretty unique. Let's Go talk home. about it real quick. So, as a kid, little dude always stream type Mr. Incredible, trying to be bro psychic. But Mr. Incredible was not going. And I'm not gonna lie, I don't blame bro because this kid was high key annoying and a D1 glazer. But yeah. that's besides the point. So one day, Mr. Incredible was on a mission stopping a bomber dude. And this man, Sinjo, pulled up on BS per usual, talking about, hey, it's incredible, I'm here to help. And Mr. Incredible per usual was like, I work alone, buddy, not right now. So Incredible decided he was gonna be abuse and go get the police. But as he was running off, the bomber put a stinky bomb on little bro. And rewatching this, he was really about to murk this little kid. And like he really idiot, was, Sinjo now you think about window, it. And Mr. Incredible grabs on the bro, trying to get the bomb off him to save him. And when he finally gets it off, it explodes these train tracks below, leading to some other problems. But of course, Mr. Incredible clutched up. Although that after he sent Sinjo with the police, and now it's his biggest mistake because these YNs don't mess with 12. And this probably triggered his YN genes leading him to commit the acts we about to talk about. Now onto older syndrome, bro really decided he was going to eradicate all showing sure, all heroes. Powers, and he really wanted his get back with Mr. Incredible. And so the first thing he pulled up on Mr. Incredible, he was on hot. He was like, hey, it's me, your biggest fan. And when Mr. Incredible was like, buddy, he just spazzed right. and threw him around like a rag doll. And he continued to whoop on Mr. Incredible while talking. Yeah, he gave him that little act like he didn't work on him. Too far, which allowed Mr. Incredible to escape and jump off this clip into some water. And so Syndrome being a certified YN, he had to finish the job and was like, oh, I got something for you. And drops a seemingly little bomb into the water with him. But after seeing this explosion, we find out this was a literal murder attack. Like he was trying to leave no remains, gang. This True. is how he was moving in the kitchen. True, bro, we're trying to kill him. Transverse all media. Now one way or another, he catches Mr. Incredible and has bro hanging up in his little lair. And he starts questioning Mr. Incredible about who he sent on a plane to come save him. And it turns out it was his wife after playing the audio. And Syndrome's like, oh, you know them? Oh, they gonna enjoy these missiles with built-in switches in them. And bro sends missiles to blow up his wife and kids, dog. He has no regards for the ops. But once again, they survive. And then he ends up catching. Bro literally told him it's his wife and kids. She said, we got kids on board. And bro didn't give a damn. Bro didn't care, bruh. All right, bro, already stacking up numbers, bro. Killing heroes after heroes after hero, bro. Say, what a couple little kids and a wife gonna do, bro? I'm gonna keep stacking them up, bro. Like, damn, bro. All right, that all he did was told you, bro. He didn't want no sidekick. He saved your life, bro. All right, and this is what you gonna do? All right, this is how you gonna turn to him? You try to kill his wife and kids, bro? You gonna kill all these other heroes just because you wasn't a real hero? I didn't like this guy. I ain't like his ass at all. Capturing the whole family after this. Bro was moving crazy. But the craziest act of menace activity gotta be his last scene. And so the incredible family was on their way back after the last battle. And they got a voicemail from the babysitter tweaking out. But finally she was like, thank y'all for the replacement sitter y'all sent. And the last girl was like, we ain't sent no replacement sitter. And as they walked in the crib, Syndrome just froze over them holding the baby like, shh. The baby's trying to sleep. Like, dang, this is wild. And so, bro decided his final act of YN nature was to kidnap this child and raise him himself or something. But, but that yeah, baby turned on his ass. But attempting this is still insane. And low key, I gotta give Syndrome gold YN bad, bro. He was, she was tweaking out this that. whole movie. I can see that. All right, but baby Jack Jack gave him that work, bro. And in the beginning of the movie, bro, Mr. Incredible said he wanted a cake. And whatever her name is, she told you what happens to Hero with the cake. And she was foreshadowing that shit, bro. She foreshadowed the hell out of it. And what happened to him? I just had killed. Hey, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed for real. If you haven't followed my Instagram already, go ahead and follow that. We about to hit a thousand, but nobody really cares. But um, subscribe if you haven't. <laughs> Through Kufa Avel. God bless y'all. And we out. Oh, shit. W video, John. Oh, we walk in the lab. He in the lab. fellowship with another. Oh, Jesus. Also. Hey, man. Bro, amazing video. Same again, bro. All right, not this. That's what Jacob threw, bro. Hey, I'm so glad I subscribed. I'm so glad I liked the video.
W video, bro. I'm definitely gonna have to watch your YNS of anime, bro. Cause you know me, I'm definitely an anime person. I love it. All right, I would love to see your full video on Broly, bro. Let you know now. If you do that, let me know, bro. I'm ready for that ASAP, bro. ASAP. Cause me and you can talk about some Broly all day, every day. Till then, bro. Make sure y'all tap in with a like, comment, and subscribe. Give me a little recognition that you truly deserve.